the Senate is calling the bluff of the House, no? Kasi sabi ng House, uh, we have to go to people's initiative to amend the economic provisions of the Constitution because the Senate uh, doesn't want to convene as a constituent assembly. Ayaw ng Senado. We have not received any favorable response from the Senate. So, linabas ng House itong People's Initiative to uh, that when the uh, House and the Senate uh, meet as a constituent assembly, they vote as one jointly. So, yung 315 votes ng House, ipagsama yun sa 24 votes ng House and you get the majority vote. Eh, pa- palaging talo ang Senado dyan, no? So the effect of that is to practically uh, disregard the vote of the Senate. Uh, they will always be outnumbered. So uh, uh, ang ano ko dito, pag talagang economic provisions lang ang gusto ng House, bakit pa paligoy-ligoy? Kasi there are two options no? uh, to amend the economic provisions. Uh, by uh, <clears throat> kahit na people's initiative you can amend it directly in other words the people's initiative will say uh, the following articles and sections of the constitution will be hereby amended chak, 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 chak. or you can approach it this way when congress convenes as a constituent assembly they will vote as one and then After that, they will meet again as a constituent assembly to amend the constitution. Two steps. Eh, pag two steps, nakaka, it's surprising and very suspicious kasi yung first step where they will vote as one, binigyan mo ng blank, blank check yung Congress to amend the constitution any way they want because they have the numbers. 315 versus 24. Uh, palaging outnumbered ang Senate. So kung talagang gusto mo i-amend ang Constitution, pwede mo naman diretsohin eh, sa People's Initiative. Diretsohin mo na sa People's Initiative. Ito mga provisions na ito, i-amend natin. Eh bakit pa two steps pupunta? Parang gusto mo, you want to visit your neighbor, nasa kanan lang ng bahay mo, to the right. Eh ang, la- ang punta doon, papunta ka doon, you turn left, you go around the world uh, para umabot ka sa kanila. It, it's, it's, uh, it's doesn't make sense. Kasi di ba, uh, you have to be efficient, uh, avoid this uh, waste of time. At dito talagang you waste a lot of time because two steps yan. Okay. Ngayon naman ang Senado, just to emphasize that point, they proposed na straight to the point na tayo. Wala nang PI, wala nang People's Initiative. Ito na, lahat na economic provisions, palitan na natin. So okay. it's up to the House now. If they really want economic provisions, nag-offer na yung Senate na i-amend natin kaagad. Uh, hindi na tayo paligoy-ligoy pa. Na wala nang two-step. Diretso, we will not spend for People's Initiative kasi papayag na kami i-amend yung economic provisions eh. At saka yung amendment naman proposed ng Senate, it opens up uh, uh, everything, no? Uh, kasi nakalagay doon, uh, for example, in Article 12, uh, Section uh, 6 on the public utilities, nakalagay doon, uh, yung 60-40 required ngayon, uh, Uh, will be followed unless otherwise provided by law. So, Congress can amend it anytime. Ganyan din yung ibang provisions ang gagaw- gagawin uh, according to the Senate resolution. So, if the House will agree to that, tapos na. Wala nang, uh, wala na tayong problema. Wala nang political warfare because nag- nagka- nagkasundo na yung House at saka Senate, no? Uh, however, from my point of view, uh, personally, I think uh, we should add 
to conditions unless otherwise provided by law subject to reciprocity kasi katulad no uh, we open up our telecom industry to the world Vietnam will invest here can buy 100% of our telecom pero hindi tayo pwede bumili sa kanila kasi sarado sila eh so if we require reciprocity buksan muna nila yung kanilang industry telecom industry before we open up in other words dapat reciprocal para uh, patas tayo kasi in uh, international law each one is sovereign uh, bakit payagan natin sila to buy 100% of our telecom companies when we cannot buy into their telecom companies dapat it should be reciprocal and that is the uh, policy now of the European Union whenever they uh, 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 enter into a treaty uh, with another country they require reciprocity now because that's that's the only way to require china to open up because china wants to buy into our to uh, into our telecom 100% but they cannot even buy a share there in their telecom business their basic telecom because from their point of view it's a matter of national security so dapat reciprocal pangalawang condition uh, alam mo right now it requires a constitutional amendment to open up uh, Uh, certain industries, eh, dapat a little bit, uh, a higher majority should be required when Congress passes it. Let's say uh, two-thirds vote of the House and the Senate can open up an industry, uh, can amend, can change the requirement in the Constitution. Hindi naman simple majority lang kasi this is not an ordinary law. No? This is special law that is actually deviating from the Constitution. Uh, under the present constitution, Congress cannot change that uh, by a simple law, but they have to go through the process of amending the constitution. Now, if we grant them the authority to amend, dapat a little bit higher yung uh, uh, voting requirement, no? Kasi that's a that's a that's a reserved industry for Filipinos. If you open it up, dapat mas mas madaming members of Congress na who will approve that. So yun lang dalawa. Sa, uh, subject to two-thirds vote of uh, the House and of the Senate voting separately. Now. 